In this video, I'll be making a simple rocket launcher that uses common rubbing alcohol to fire soda bottles hundreds of feet. The alcohol rocket fuel is contained inside the bottles as they're prepared for launch. The rocket launcher itself only needs to provide a spark for ignition. The frame is assembled with PVC pipe and fittings, 3 quarter inch pipe for the base and a length of 1 half inch pipe for the barrel. These parts can be pressed together without the use of glue or cement, as friction should be enough to keep things in place on its own. This also allows the barrel to be freely adjustable to any launching angle. A push-button barbecue igniter will be the ignition source for the rockets, as these igniters produce a hot piezoelectric spark between their two wires when the button is pressed. The wires that come stock with standard barbecue igniters are a bit shorter than I would like for this project, so I'll make them longer by splicing on another 12 inches of spare wire. The twisted connections could easily be held and insulated simply by wrapping them individually with electrical tape. But for a more secure connection, I've decided to solder both splices and finish them off cleanly with some heat shrink tubing. To insert the igniter into the launcher, a hole is drilled for the wires about 6 inches from the end of the barrel. The wires are then fed through until a portion of them is extending out of the open end. To keep the ignition wires aligned, a wad of paper is pushed into the pipe as a plug, about half an inch deep. Hot glue is then used to fill the opening, permanently holding the wires in place. The exposed ends should be adjusted until a spark can easily jump across the gap when the igniter button is pressed. The final step is to install the top of a 2 liter soda bottle over the end of the launcher to act as a blast shield. This will help contain any fuel overspray when the rockets launch. To fuel the rockets, some isopropyl rubbing alcohol is poured into a soda bottle and shaken a few times to build up the vapor. The liquid is then poured back out since only the vapor acts as fuel. The last few drops are shaken out with a few quick swings of the bottle. This is also an important step to introduce fresh oxygen into the fuel. They should now fire every time. One last modification that might need to be made is to use a bit of tape to hold the blast shield away from the wires since the rockets launch with enough force to slam it into them, cutting through the rubber coating. It's also important to wear safety glasses and ear protection since these rockets can be pretty loud. There's a website I've been following for some time now that has a bunch of tutorials for projects similar to the one in this video. SonicDad.com is the website, and I'll put a link in the video description. They have a pretty great channel here on YouTube also, where they showcase a lot of the projects from the Sonic Dad website. They actually have another version of a soda bottle rocket that's unlike any I've ever seen before. I'll post a link to that particular project in the video description as well. It's definitely worth checking out. The instructions for all the projects on SonicDad.com are really well put together, even going so far as having printout templates to help with modifying off-the-shelf parts. I think you'll really like them. If you liked this video, you can subscribe for more on my YouTube channel, Nighthawk in Light. Thanks for watching.